Mr. Cherkin, uh, with, uh, with regard to the situation in Mali, and based on the request of the Secretary General uh, to change the status of the African support forces into UN forces, what's Russia's position uh, on this request? Uh, you know, I think we'll have very serious discussion uh, of, uh, of uh, this proposal of the on the entire situation. Uh, well, first of all, even though I did mention that the Secretary General produced a report, uh, official report is produced when it's published in all official languages of, uh, of the United Nations, and then according to Security Council rules, we are told by the Secretariat, uh, four working days are given to study the report very carefully. But anyway, this is one of those situations when we really need to study the situation very carefully. Because uh, th this is a place which does not resemble a place where you have normal peacekeeping. First of all, uh, the, the peacekeeping, you need to have a normal peacekeeping. You, you need to have cooperation and contact with authorities. And we understand that it's very difficult to ascertain uh, the, uh, the real policy of uh, Malian authorities. The whole thing is, is in flux, so it's not quite clear. You need to have, you know, a reliable interlocutor in the, in, in the authorities. So that element is not there. It's not very clear what they want, what their plans might be. Now, the second element, which we believe needs to be there, and other members, most of other members of the Security Council believe needs to be there, uh, is uh, a political process. You know, there, there are some interests of the Tuaregs. They are not just the extremists and the terrorists who are there. There are people with whom there needs to be a political process. And it's not obvious uh, that this political process is, is going to happen, that uh, it's the intention of the current Marian authorities to go into this kind of a political process. Then in a normal peacekeeping operation, you need sort of to know what are the lines, what are you going to do there as, as a peacekeeper, against whom you are going to keep peace and what you are going to, to keep. Well, there is this general idea that there are some towns which can be protected that need to protect civilians, but there are quite a few question marks which, uh, uh, which come to mind when you, when you talk uh, about those things. So I think that this is going to be a rather um, a careful examination of the proposal of the Secretary General. And then, after all, AFISMA, the African force, has not even yet established itself. So it may well be that some time may be required to let AFISMA establish itself better and then uh, look at other options in terms of a possible transition to, to the UN peacekeeping force. But at this point, those are just uh, question marks, not definitive positions of the Russian Federation. Please.